Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and as always, thank you for watching. Uh, today we've been called by the Scott County Sheriff's Department. Uh, kind of a uh, unusual predicament, although it does happen. Uh, they found a pickup truck in a farm field down at the bottom of a levee uh, by the Mississippi River. Uh, and they need us to uh, get it out. They said it's buried in mud, so I am headed that way right now. I'll turn the phone off or turn the camera off for now and uh, see what we got when we get on the scene. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are on the uh, county road. Shouldn't be too far from where we're uh, supposed to meet up with the police department. Off to our left is the Mississippi River. And there's several levee systems in through here. Like off to my left is one. We just went across it. There's apparently a farm levee up here as well.
landowner, I assume? No, he's got a hunting stand out there. Oh, okay. It's a privately owned levy. Okay. And that damages the integrity of it. Right. So any well, damage that's incurred is. If they've got liability insurance, liability covers stuff like this, or it's supposed to anyway. It's supposed to cover property damage. Well, that's cool. Uh, so I, I don't know. I, I, got, I asked him when he drove by if, if, if he had a tractor on standby, maybe to assist you. I don't oh, know. I. Exactly oh, okay. I, that's all right. I can get it. I can get it from here. Uh, I just the way it's sitting down there, I was kind of hanging on to the side, looking through it. Right. So when we get it up here, I just go through it one more good time. Yes, sir. Not a, nice. not a problem. Not a problem. Plenty of air cans in there. So. I'll uh, I'll pull up here, kind of at an angle. Okay. Looks like best way is just bringing out the path that came up. Okay. So you'll block this. I'm gonna drive past you just in case there's in case emergency. you have to go. Yes, sir. Yeah. Understood. Yeah, it, yeah the keys okay. are in it, but it's stuck. It won't go nowhere. So uh, I'll pull over enough to give you room to get by. Oh, yes, sir. If my winch cables aren't long enough, I've got extra straps and chains and everything. So, won't be a problem. Better grab my phone just in case an emergency comes up. I don't know that I got any signal down here, but a little bit. Not much. Are you kidding me? I got a skid steer I may end up bringing down. Winch needs to be re -spooled. Come on. All right. Now see what kind of shape we're in here. Ooh, wow. Yeah, that one is hanging off in the air. Had to be right here in all them cockle bursts. Those things grab a hold of me and don't let go. Oh, shoot. You got broke cross member on the front already. For the torsion bar. Let's see. All right, it's got the frame hooks there. I don't really like using those. But as 
because they're not really designed as a recovery. But let's go see what we got. Always got the option of doing the cruise loop through the seat now the back or out the front I'm sorry which may be what I end up doing it don't seem like it but it's pretty good ways down there Girl. got the t-hook in it small chain but if I use both of them and double them back let's see this one's still got the tag on it let me read what the safe working load limit is Safe working load limit, 4,700 pounds in a straight line. So if you double it, plus I'm using two of them instead of just one, we'll be well within our safety factor. We got wrap and a half still on the drum. I still got another wrap and a half on the drum. I'm good, lengthwise. All right, put the remote in my pocket. Well, I've got two winches on there. The, the front one here that you can see easy is actually the opposite winch. But uh, yeah, the... Uh, the one I'm using, I've still got, I'd say, 50 foot of cable left on it. And this is our small one, other than our rollbacks. That's our smallest recovery vehicle. Yeah. Well, they've changed the game, too. You can do a lot with a rollback. J-hook got caught on something. Okay. Oh, beautiful. No problem. Yep, it's a neutral, we're free rolling. Check my connections again. Make sure everything's good and tight. Oh yeah. Good shape.
if you notice I kept my boom down inside what we call the cradle to uh, keep the boom stable so that we're not putting such a side load on it the only the side load is actually pushing against the cradle that the integrated under reach fits down into on the bed of the truck so you're not working the uh, side pull on the boom just on the shiv head where the winch comes through the end of the boom Shoot, she wasn't even grunting. It didn't even grunt. Nope. All right. I'm sure the way he rode down, he, she, whoever. All right, watch out, guys. I'm going to push my boom out. I need to boom out so that when it comes up, I'll have the front end up here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, and this truck's, I mean, it's very, very, uh, excuse me, let me untangle my tongue. Very versatile. And what it'll do I can I don't need to what I'm doing right now is I'm running this one over to one of the anchor points so I'm not putting such a side load on my boom I'm going to counter it with this winch do what sir yes sir we yes sir we do that is correct. We had one, uh, yeah, we had one the other night in front of Boomland. Yeah, I heard about that. In fact, I had a picture of it on my phone. Did you? Yeah. Well, unfortunately, I talked to the uh, safety director yesterday after we got everything cleaned up and uh, I asked how the drivers were doing and his response was unemployed. Yep. yep. All right. But step back if you don't mind guys because it's on a it's that's what I heard uh, the same night. Yeah, it's under under pretty good strain. They were on the driving road. Yes, sir. She was a uh, it was a husband and wife and she was she was a trainee. Uh, I don't know. I, I don't know. Laredo. Laredo. 
All I know was that he was he was a full-time driver and he was training her and she was driving. All right. Release the parking brake. And put her back in neutral so we reduce our resistance. And we'll stay with it to help guide it and also help reduce the resistance or control it in case something goes wrong. What's up? Do what? No, 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 no. That's, that's my hook. that's my tow hook. Yes, sir. Snake hanger. Sure can. Oh yeah. What I'd like to do though, of course it's four wheel drive, what I'd like to do is turn it around and grab it from the rear. Then I can put the transfer case in neutral and right, grab a hold of it and tow it, could. tow it out that way. You could do that. If, uh, if it'll stay here, I don't know. I didn't try it. I usually don't. We. I know it's not going to come the rest of the way out of here on its own, no. <laughs> nope. Well, I smelt gas down there. I wonder if it didn't rupture the gas tank. Yeah, let me see if she will... Uh... Do what? Yeah. Yep, that's what I'm getting ready to do. Yes, sir. Yep. Yep. You got enough shit to do about what you want to. Pretty much. 
but yeah i'm just going to drive forward real easy until i get most of it up on the road anyway i'm gonna give myself some slack though She's gonna stay right there. Take it all the way out. I don't want to risk it running off on me over onto the other side or something. We're just going to go nice and easy until it's almost all the way up. I didn't want to pull it all the way up out of there while I was in the truck in case it decided it wanted to roll on its own. What, sir? How many different pulls can you make on that big truck you lift? I've got five winches on it. I have five winches on it, so I can. I've got multiple anchor points off the back, multiple anchor points on the boom itself. Each extension has two of these on it, and it's a three stage, so I've got multiple rigging points at various lengths out on the boom. Uh, also got anchors on my outriggers they come out my side so if i'm rotated around to the side i can words, redirect off the side every piece of machinery has its equipment or has its limits yeah there's 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 there's, there's not much yet that well there isn't anything yet that we haven't been able to do With the big truck? Oh, uh, if it's empty, you could. You couldn't control it though, and we like to, uh, you couldn't control it when it's coming down. Well, you almost got a hold them yeah. when they come down. We don't, we don't like letting them bounce. Uh, if they're loaded, that would be rough. Well, and they're, you run the risk of the doggone thing bouncing and rolling back over the other way if you don't control it 
I've seen it on videos. I've never seen it in person, and I hope never to, never to see it. Well, I don't. You got to be a different kind of person. I don't see everything that the ambulance crews and the police officers see, but in my line of work, I still see enough. Well, we, you know, we work fatalities and stuff, and you see things that that are troubling, to say the least. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Uh, I'll tell you a quick story. There was a uh, gentleman driving the wrong way on the interstate about two years ago down around Scott City. Hit another vehicle almost head on. Killed the older gentleman instantly. The SUV that he hit went over the guardrail and landed on its roof between the interstate and the outer road by, uh, by John Deere. And uh, it caught on fire. The woman was thrown out. The man was trapped in the truck and there were police officers already in route to try to intercept the wrong way driver. So the police officers were there pretty quick. They helped pull the gentleman out of the burning car. Of course, he suffered extensive damage, but, but he's alive. Uh, and uh, we had to work with the major crash team from the highway patrol because it was a fatality. And uh, we were told that there was an eight-year-old girl in that SUV and no sign of her. We didn't know if she had been burned in the vehicle, if she'd been thrown and was underneath it, but there was nothing left of the SUV but just a burnt shell. Myself and the uh, sergeant from the highway patrol were looking and looking and looking, and he had me lift up the SUV straight up in case she was under it. We worked for, I know, an hour while other guys were scouring the uh, grass and everything to make sure she wasn't thrown clear, or wasn't thrown out of the vehicle. About an hour into it, one of the police officers gets a call and finds out that the little girl was with her aunt. She wasn't even with them. The, the, the only thing they knew was that the man, when they were pulling him out, where's my daughter, where's my daughter, where's my daughter? And our heart just yeah, but hit our feet. Him enough, he didn't really know yeah, the worst. right. But, I mean, just thinking that you're trying to retrieve a, an, an eight-year-old like that, but then the relief, been, been then the relief of finding out that she was safe and sound. Well, sir, my name's Ron. Good to meet you. Mm -hmm. You too, sir. I'm Ron. Yes, yes sir. Well, gentlemen, I'm going to get back to it. Nice talking to you. All right, and I'm going to spin it around, and before I do, I'm going to tie off the steering wheel so that it stays straight. Because if I spin the back end around while... Uh, uh, without doing this, the steer tires will turn. And as always, well, for, for those of you that have watched some of my videos, you know, for others that you may be new to it, uh, securing the steering wheel, you always go to a solid base of the seat. This is especially important on uh, semi-tractors, road tractors, with air ride seats. You want to go to the solid base. You do not want to grab a hold of the part of the seat that goes up and down with the air ride. All right, and for all the maneuver we're gonna do, we wanna leave all the brakes locked. We'll just grab a hold of the back end, spin it around. Rim sling to the rescue. I don't have the small rim sling for the uh, automotive. This is a 5 8 rim sling, which is more than enough to do what I need to do here. 
Excuse me. Now, if I can angle it right and get it under that tire, it'll cradle that tire and help pull it the direction I want it to go. So used to putting everything up as soon as I finish using it. That's all right. It didn't take just a second to break her back down. got it in park and the parking brake set so that the rear wheels won't turn you see how the strap is lifting up slightly on the tire and helping bring it this way it's exactly what I wanted it to do slack and do it again sometimes you have to make small pulls so that you get the right angle on it up on me I want it down low again until I can get it far enough around to uh, grab hold of the uh, hitch ah. yeah, it's still working that's all right you see by tying the steering wheel my steering tires are staying straight just like I wanted them to. Alright, don't want to get into the body even though it's an older truck. Could be somebody's pride and joy. We don't want to damage any body panels or any other damage if we can keep from it. I get criticized for that sometimes. People on YouTube asking why I take a little extra time. That's the reason. We try to treat each vehicle with respect. get a hook into it to tow it home and I may end up having to put the dog on wheel lift on it All right, let it out a little bit we'll go ahead and line pull it forward just a little bit to straighten it out
Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Again, I'll turn it in this way. Yeah, hopefully that's not too tall. No, nope, we're going to get it. We got it. Tilt. Good shape. Alright. Draw it in and then push it out a little bit so that you're on the century you need to have it out just a little bit so that it can pivot. Need light bar tube. Come on through there. gonna work there so I don't have to put a light bar on this small of a vehicle since other vehicles can see my brake lights from my uh, and turn signals from my light bar. If there's a good place to put it up here without damaging the truck, it's always a good idea to do it. And I'll go ahead and Go ahead and tie a light bar on it. Come on out of there. Yep. Go around this way so 
so I can shut my camera off. Yep, just turn up. Oh, you're kidding me. Oh, darn it. That camera was not turned on. Darn it, darn it, darn it. Well, I was hoping to have from a different perspective at the end of the video to have a uh, time lapse from that angle pulling it up and somebody me messed up forgot to turn on the dead gum camera uh, aggravating but it is what it is I'll just have to make it up to you guys on another video. Alright. Light bar on. So that people can see my stop, tail, and turns. that sucker off. Darn it, I hate that. Come on. And who knows, this video may never be able to be posted. There are a lot of jobs that I do that don't get posted that my viewers don't get to see for various reasons all right four-wheel drive so go back and see if I can work the uh, transfer case into neutral self-locking hubs or is this even a four-wheel drive doesn't appear to be perhaps I was wrong again and I was this is just a straight twin I-beam uh, two-wheel drive okay no need to worry about the transfer case then No drive shaft or gearing in the front end at all. Well, if nothing else, this video shows you that I am not perfect, never claimed to be. I've made several errors and false assumptions, and wrong turns. It happens to everybody. Ladies and gentlemen, we are headed back to the shop. 
where uh, the deputy will be probably waiting on us to get whatever information he needs out of the vehicle. I don't know if anybody was injured. I cannot tell you. The officer didn't know either. Uh, we hope not. We pray not. As always, for my uh, believing viewers, I ask for prayers. Uh, we don't know what the circumstances were, so. And for non-believing viewers, your well wishes are greatly appreciated. As always, thank you for watching, and God bless.